All right, so you've got Linux installed, you've got a version with a Cinnamon desktop, and now you're looking at it and it doesn't look so great. I'm going to show you how I make mine look better, and in the process we'll go through the steps so you can make it look how you want it to look. So, let's go. So this is Manjaro's desktop by default, and I'm going to show you how to make it look like this. This is my customized version of that desktop. And um, we'll go through all the steps I took to get here. And hopefully that will help you. Uh, if you want it to look like that, great. If you want it to look another way, then we'll go through all the steps to get it to look how you want it to look. Let's change that darn wallpaper. Um, the defaults on all these desktops aren't so great. And on De Cinnamon, it's as easy as right-clicking and choosing Change Desktop Background. And if you go to the GNOME settings, there's some more uh, prettier ones. Cinnamon has several that are also nice. That Spices one's not so bad. Whatever. I like this guy with the road. There's nothing stopping you from, of course, finding a wallpaper on the internet that you like better. I'm fine with this particular default wallpaper. I kind of like it, but, you know, just like Windows, any photo that you can find, any image that you can find on the internet, you can save that to your computer, set it as a wallpaper using that same method. Okay, so we have wallpaper. We're already looking a little bit better. Um... Now let's talk about the themes. There are so many themes available for Linux, it'll make your head spin. But the one that I like is called Arc GTK Theme. Um, I'll show you how to install that on an Arch-based system. What you do is a sudo pacman minus s arc-gtk-theme. And we're also going to install the icon theme, which is arc-icon-theme. We'll do that to so give it our password and proceed with installation. Yes. And give it just a second to download those themes and their dependencies. And we'll have the options. We'll have, and this will give us a lot of different options. And after a couple of minutes, that's all done. Um, all right, that's all we need that for. So we will go to our menu, to our settings, to themes right there. And this is where the magic happens. Um, Windows borders. I like arc dark. Icons. I like arc. Controls, we have all kinds of options, but I, I like Arc Dark just to keep things consistent. Uh, the mouse pointer, I like the Adwaita version here. And the desktop, you guessed it, I like Arc Dash Dark. So, there we go, we're already looking a lot better. Now let's look at this start menu. Here we have a uh, little Manjaro thing that says menu. We we'll can right click on that, go to configure. I don't like text, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I don't particularly like that icon. If we search up here for cinnamon, uh, I like just the plain old cinnamon symbolic. You can go through here you there are hundreds and hundreds of choices that little arch guy doesn't look bad um i mean you can make it whatever you want i like the default cinnamon icon as opposed to any of the default ones that come with the distributions so i'm gonna select that and uh close out of there and now our menu just looks like that that's pretty cool and now we're going to change the applets on the panel. There are a lot of things on here that I don't really care for. So what we'll do is we'll go to applets, right click, applets, 
manage. Okay, so let's go down the list. Everything with a check is installed. Everything without a check is not installed. You can go to download and uh, once you click yes to get the newest ones, there are 140 options of other things to install. So you can take it upon yourself to browse through and find whatever you might want. I like a pretty minimal approach on this stuff, so I'm just going to be eliminating things. Uh, Expo. Don't want it, so I click the minus here, and that thing goes away. Uh, grouped Windows List. I do like that. Inhibit out applet. Don't really care for that. That's this little guy. Let's make him go away. Uh, the main menu I definitely want to keep. The network manager. Don't really care for that, do I? Nope. Notifications. Gonna get rid of that. Power manager. Gonna get rid of that. And yeah, uh, removable drives we'll keep just in case. Uh, separator. Uh, we want some of those, but not all of them. Uh, show desktop, I do like. Sound, I do like. System tray, I'm good. User applet is this little guy. He comes in handy, but everything that you can do, you can pretty much do over here. I don't really like that where it is, so I'll get rid of him too. Um, Windows quick list, get rid of that. Workspace switcher, get rid of that. And you can see we are down to just a couple of things. Um, all of that is more or less what I like. You see these little lines are the separators and you can right click on those to remove. I like to get rid of that one. Click yes. Um, I like to get rid of that one. Yes. So that leaves us just with a little wired network thing. Uh, just a handful of things that I might actually want to use. All right, now, now we're talking. Let's look at uh, customizing the desktop. Go to desktop settings. These are the icons that'll be on there by default. Computer and home are the ones that are there at the beginning. Mounted drives will appear as you add them. Uh, I like to turn all that stuff off because I like a clean desktop and then you can add icons to it as you see fit. Um, you know, keep what you want, get rid of what you don't. Okay, let's, let's go to the clock now. Let's right click and go to configure. We are going to use a custom date format. Now this is really powerful stuff. This button here, show information on uh, date format. That'll take you to a uh, to a website that shows you the symbols that you'll want to enter to get any of these particular dates. Um, I know, because I have it written down right here, that what I want, I want to start out with percent lowercase m for the month, then a slash, then a percent lowercase d for the day, another slash and then eight percent and uppercase y for the four digit year then i'll go with the comma and i'll do a uh, percent lowercase l for the hour and 12 hour format without a zero in front of it uh, then we'll go with a colon for the colon and uh percent uppercase M for the minute, then a space, then a percent uppercase P for a lowercase PM. That's how I like it. But again, you can go to that website and do make it look however you want it to look. So there we go. While we're at it, let's get rid of that separator too. So that's looking more or less how I like it. There's one more thing I want to do. I'm going to go to panel settings. I right click to get there. I'm going to change the panel height. It's a little tall for me. You can make it tiny if you want. I like it just a little bit smaller than default, somewhere around 35. Shrink it down just a little bit. 
Here's where you have the options to add new panels. You can put one on the left, you can put one on the right, you can put one on top. A lot of people prefer a panel up top. I like it just fine how it is. You can change icon sizes. You can, you can do all kinds of stuff here. But that is where I stop. So we have cleaned that guy up pretty good, right? That's how I like it to look. So yeah, I'll show you. I get rid of get out of my virtual machine, and it looks just like my real machine. Virtual machine, real machine. Um, these icons I've added over time. Uh, that's just the all you've got to do for that is find whatever you want. Like say I want Microsoft Office Online. I just find it in the menu, right click, and add to panel, and there it is. I don't want that, so I'll unpin it from panel, and it's gone. Anything you have open will be here, but anything you have pinned will show up over here. There's this thing called add desklets. I don't use any of these, but say I wanted a clock on the desktop, bam, there it is. I don't really like that stuff, but that is an option, and again, you can download whole bunch of things to get your desktop to look different if you want to add more things to it. I like the more minimal approach and that is how I have customized my Cinnamon desktop and those are the tools that you can use to customize yours. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a good day. Bye.